Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Stewart, manager of the Canton branch of the Haywood County Public Library System. Today's program, we're going to take a look through Locust Field Cemetery, which borders on the property of the Canton Branch Library. Locust Field Cemetery is one of, if not the oldest cemetery in Haywood County. It's also considered to likely be a site of some Indian burials as well. The cemetery is located in an area of Canton, once owned by John McFarland, and is also the location of Locust Field Baptist Church, which began meeting in 1803, very likely in McFarland's cabin. Locust Field Baptist Church was the first of any denomination west of Asheville and is the early church of Canton First Baptist. Let's take a look at different sections of the cemetery to learn about its history. And let's start with the archway. The River Rock and Cement Arch was erected around 1920 on the northernmost point of the cemetery at the fork of Pennsylvania Avenue and Academy Street. In May of 1995, the archway was destroyed when hit by a car and rebuilt later that year by local stonemason Tim Farmer. As you pass the arch, there's a sidewalk entrance to the cemetery shown here with the yellow arrow. This sidewalk runs through the cemetery to the entry on the other side of of Academy Street, shown here with the brown arrow. As you enter the sidewalk, the site of the old Locustville Baptist Church would have been to your right. Up ahead, as you continue walking on the sidewalk toward Academy Street, on the left, you'll find the tombstone marker for Thomas Henry Abel he was a Revolutionary War soldier and one of the first settlers in this area. When you reach the end of this sidewalk and turn around to re-enter the cemetery where you'll see this sign, go forward a little bit then to your left to find the graves of several men from Macedonia who were working at Champion Paper Mill. Unfortunately, you will see some vandalism in Locust Field Cemetery. You'll see where tombstones have been knocked over. As you're walking through the cemetery toward the sidewalk, take a look around and you will see several plaques throughout the cemetery that say Champion Old Timer. Of course, these are people who have retired from Champion Paper Company. As you're headed toward Locust Street on the sidewalk, you will be gazing to your left and remember that that is actually the location of where the Locust Field Baptist Church was located. Once you've reached the Locust Street sidewalk, enter at the next sidewalk marked in black on this map. This sidewalk ends a short way into the cemetery. As you enter, there is a plaque there. It's part of the Civil War trails that serves as a reminder to us of Haywood County's role in the Civil War. Once you step forward and then turn to gaze back at this section, notice the beautiful rock wall, river rock, that is surrounding part of this section of the cemetery. So now we are going to cross the road to the section of Locust Field Cemetery that is located behind the library. And we'll meet in the library parking lot. From the library parking lot at the flagpole, you cross the yard to enter the Locust Field Cemetery section that is located behind the library. Of note in this section of the cemetery is the grave for William Keziah. 
William Keziah was a tailor in Canton. The cemetery borders on the Giving Garden located at the Canton Library. Thank you so much for watching this video on the history of Locust Field Cemetery. There is so much more material, history, families, lots of material that I just skimmed over the very top layer. If you want more information, please reach out to me at the Canton Branch Library or the Canton Area Historical Museum for more information. There is also a resource list included in the notes to this video. And I want to say a special thank you to Kathy Hall Walsh, Phil Paxton, and Caroline Ponton for their invaluable knowledge and help making this video. Thank you very much.